A vegan influencer and chef called Xana sadly passed away a few days ago from starvation apparently. And so people were quick to blame the vegan diet, of course, because nobody dies from any other diet. But anyways, I have received many messages from my family and friends asking me about the diet and being worried. And it, it's okay, it's understandable, but I wanted to make this video to clarify some very important things that I think people are not aware of. Sana was already a person who suffered anorexia way before she went raw vegan. Unfortunately, every time she was sent to treatment, she escaped avoiding professional help. Knowing this, we can already see that it's not a problem of a certain diet, but simply an eating disorder. So the first problem that I see here is that she started eating only fruits and seeds while already having anorexia. And during this transition, you can certainly be depleted from nutrients and vitamins. Since she had anorexia, she probably didn't have all the necessary nutrients that the body needs. And from what I saw online, I think she was a purist, so I don't think she was taking any supplements to fight these deficiencies. Plus, coming from a person who was eating too little, she was probably not getting enough protein from her fruits. Does this mean that the fruitarian diet is the problem? Hell no. People like Eli Martyr and Ted Carr have been thriving on fruits for the past years, but they transitioned to this diet, creating the necessary gut flora to thrive on only fruits. This process took them years. The second problem is that when eating only sweet fruits, you are feeding the yeast, the candida, and all the bad gut flora, which leads to a weak immune system. Marcus from The Healthy Life, he always talks about this. In a raw vegan diet, it's vital to also incorporate leafy greens, sea moss, herbs, fermented foods, since those feed the good bacteria in the gut flora, and track the calories so you make sure you are eating enough. The third and the biggest problem that I see is that she was practicing a lot of fasting. This is very common in raw vegans and it can be extremely healthy since it renews the cells on your body, it lowers inflammation, reduces pain and more. It also carries a huge risk, especially for underweight or malnourished people since they have no calories, vitamins and minerals to support this fast. The biggest risk comes from dry fasting though, which which happens to be the type of fasting that she was doing. A dry fast is when you stop eating anything solid, but also you stop drinking any liquids, including water. It's the most powerful type of fasting, but also the most dangerous one. It can deplete your body from water, dehydrating your organs, leading to organ failure. Most raw vegans are aware of this, but still they decide to do it anyways. For example, the previous week, this guy that I follow, Vegetable Police, he did a dry fast for five days, taking the risk. So this is, in my opinion, what every news media should be talking about. We should be spreading awareness of how dangerous dry fasting can be. I know that Sana's mother said that she caught a virus similar to cholera, but I also read that the forensic couldn't find the reason of death. It could be true, because she might have had a very low defense system due to the reasons that I mentioned before, but it's also quite probable that she was on a dry fast and some organs stopped working. It's easy to blame a diet when it's a controversial one, but when Joe died a few weeks ago, in his 30s, being super fit, I didn't see any media talking about his diet, and rather they blamed steroids, which might be the reason, but who knows, maybe the diet also contributed to it. If there is one thing that I want you to take away from this video is that no matter your diet, you should be keeping track of your health, doing health checks and things like that, and also ask for guidance before doing any drastic changes in your diet, especially if you have eating disorders already. So should we blame the raw vegan diet or the fruits or the fasts for her death? I don't think so, because many people have healed their bodies using those things. So I see them more as tools that you can use for your own health, but just like a kitchen knife, you can achieve good things with them or literally end your life, depending on how you use it. In my opinion, the diet might have contributed to her death, but it was actually the anorexic behavior that caused the most damage, probably. That would explain why there are thousands of people thriving on the raw vegan diet. I hope we all can learn from her unfortunate death. It's really very sad to hear that she passed away. May she rest in peace.